today I'm going to um, uh, show you how to do a, um, the first tutorial of the Fluent, but with this tutorial I am um, designing a um, series of tutorial to um, show you um, how to set up a um, heat transfer problem in Fluent. So basically I'm going to um, simulate this problem and there's a mixing flow, there's a main flow in this big pipe and there will be a mixing flow from this a smaller diameter pipe. So the main goal from this um, sets of tutorials are um, you get um, for the who um, are new to um, fluent ANSYS and um, to get familiar with uh, ANSYS geometry, basically design modeler, ANSYS meshing and setting up pro a problem in heat transfer problem in fluent and also um, I will set up a parametric study. So um, there will be uh, four or five sets of um, tutorial. The first tutorial, which is this one, um, is going to be um, the setting up the geometry. So according to the first tutorial of the Fluent, uh, we have this geometry and there is a 100 diameter uh, main pipe. This is a 3D geometry. So I will show you how to um, create this geometry in design modeler. So uh, basically, um, I will start from this point, which is the uh, like um, zero zero zero. Then I will draw the center line of this pipe, which is a radius is 150 here because we we have a hundred here and um, we have another hundred here up to the end of line. So this is a 200 radius. This is a 100 radius um, quarter of a circle. So if we draw the midline, it will be 150 radius square root of a circle. Then we'll go up 200, this side 200. Then we'll draw a circle here, sweep the circle. So it creates the main pipe. Then I will come to this point and um, draw a, a vertical line to up and then create a circle here, sweep and kind of um, intersect with the main line and merge the two geometries together. Okay. So I have my um, ANSYS workbench here. This is ANSYS 2019 um, R2, but uh, you can use um, any um, ANSYS workbench or um, design modeler. It doesn't matter, it's not changed um, that much. So um, I will drag and drop a, a Fluent Flow um, block here, and um, I will create new design modeler geometry. So, okay, now I will go to, um, to the, uh, I will change the view uh, to the YZ or you can do on the XY, it doesn't matter. So let's create on the XY and click on the XY um, plane and click on new sketch. So we are working on this XY um, and plane now, go to the sketching. So um, click on arc um, by center. So I want to have an arc from center and start point is here. Oh, sorry. Let's first um, change the um, units to millimeters. So because it was the units was uh, meters. So let's um, zoom in a little bit. So now I will create the um, arc by center. So from here, you see this um, C sign pops up, it means that we have a vertical, so it goes down uh, until this another C kind of intersecting, uh, intersecting the um, axis. So uh, let's go to dimensions, uh, we want to uh, click on the radius, so add a dimension here, radius is 54 we want to be 150 so let's zoom out by scrolling the mouse um, so um, we have this arc here so we want to go up 200 and to the left at 200 so we will go to draw the line click on the endpoint and 
when you can see this uh, V uh, besides that line it means that it will draw a vertical line so it, if you click it will make it vertical so let's create the, the horizontal line here to the left then go to dimensions general click here and make it 200 click here and make it 200 okay so basically I have my main lines and uh, profile so what will I do later I will create a plane here draw a circle sweep this um, circle so to create um, the main line now I am um, let's um, go to the modeling um, because this one will be one geometry and the smaller pipe will be one geometry that merging together okay so on the x y um, I want to uh, create um, another um, sketch so create on the new sketch um, go to sketching so if we check um, um, our uh, like um, and geometry I need to let me do like this okay basically I need to go um, to the X um, plus 137.5 and minus 225 and um, to get this to this point and draw a vertical line or um, I can go here and here it doesn't matter so uh, first I will uh, so I will keep it here okay so I will go uh, 137.5 so let's create a vertical line here so use the dimensions from this line this point to this axis so go to modify I want to delete this and uh, click on this one and uh, press the delete button so to h5 it will be 137.5 and for this point will be uh, 225 uh, below the axis so means that um, distance from this point to this axis will be um, 225 go to dimensions general select on this click on this point and this axis so it will be 225 so you see this um, line is not intersecting the and pipe so we will increase the length of the line it is 158 let's put 180 it doesn't matter if it intersects more um, because they will merge together okay now we have our two lines and um, two passes we need to sweep um, um, our um, circles on this um, passes so let's first create the um, main pipe what will i do i will create a plane so in uh, in design model or when you create a plane uh, and and you want to sketch on that plane and um, you um, you will sketch on the x y um, surface of that plane so that coordinate system and um, you, you kind of um, let me kind of explain to you uh, i will uh, click on the new plane so um, the uh, type will be <clears throat> from point and normal so let's click on this point as the base point and normal um, shows the z-axis of um, and the new plane so if I wanted to have the z-axis uh, aligned with the current y-axis so the normal will be x um, z so if I uh, click the x z plane and here so as you can see and click generate as you can see um, I will have a um, plane um, in, in, the, in that point so 
let's create a sketch uh, on plane four. So um, I want to have a pipe with diameter of 100. So I will create a circle on um, origin of this um, plane. So I will create a circle, go to dimensions, um, diameter. And let's make it 100. So if you, we go to modeling and click on sweep, uh, we want to sweep this profile. We can uh, select a sketch number three on sketch number one, which is this profile. So click apply and click generate. As you can see, we had this circle sweeped over this path. So it created our main, uh, main pipe. So what will I do now? I will create another plane here and um, create the um, smaller pipe. So um, I will click on new plane, plane number five, and the type will be um, point and normal. So click on the sketch two. So for the point, select this point. Okay. For the normal, again, we want to have a um, like we want to have a circle in this plane line which is the uh, XZ plane so uh, we will cl um, click on the XZ plane as a normal and apply and generate so on this plane we will create a new sketch go to sketching circle so The diameter of the circle is 25 millimeters. So let's go to dimensions, diameter, and 25. Okay, go to modeling, sweep, and click on the new sketch, sketch number four, and sketch number two is the path of the hour sweep. Okay, so and um, now we have um, operation. We have add material, add frozen, cut material, slice material, and imprint faces. Uh, the most useful um, is add material. Add material, let's see what will happen. Um, as you can see, we have one body and one part. G if, if I click generate, it will sweep through this um, path and create the, the, the new pipe. But um, this new pipe, we uh, because we used the, the add material method, it kind of merged the small pipe to the bigger pipe. If you um, <coughs> wanna have a separate um, body, if you add frozen and click generate again, as you can see, we will have two separate bodies. So um, since we wanna merge and at the end of the day, so we will go with the add material. If you can, um, you can do the cut material, which cut or slice material, which will slice the main body. So we will use the add material. So um, we have um, our um, geometry ready. So um, thank you for watching this video. And um, in the next video, I will um, go through the meshing. Please subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos um, to um, get uh, more tutorials about the ANSYS Fluent and um, other applications of the ANSYS. Thank you for watching.